Yo, a long time, no chats YouTube. What is going on? Haven't been on YouTube in about, I'd say about seven or eight weeks, I'd say, since my last upload. I uploaded a product review. Sorry, Kenzie is battering the window here at me. I uploaded a product review for my last video and today's video is just going to be a bit of a life update so i just wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up about where myself and vivian are at sort of changes to our lives different things that's been going on and i am beginning well i'm not beginning i have begun a prep for a photo shoot which is next month and that is with noco so recently just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up in january of 2020 i signed with the brand noco as a brand athlete or brand ambassador or whatever the hell you want to call it um, and I have to get myself ready for a photo shoot which is in it's the first week of April so today's date is the 6th of March Friday the 6th of March and my photo shoot is the week of the 4th of April so um, yeah gotta get my shit together gotta, gotta get my food together I gotta uh, tighten up everywhere essentially but uh yeah, today is going to be a little bit of a full day of what's going on. I'm meeting Vivian later on to show, well, to I'll show you guys what we do later on. But it's something pretty exciting in our lives, um, or it's an exciting process. Uh, well, is it exciting? It's stressful. It's exciting. It's new. Um, yeah, bit of a crazy, crazy process. But first little life update is Kenzie is come on in Harley's way outside he's in his kennel around there at the corner but Kenzie is a mum aren't you Kenzie we've had two puppies so let me show you there they are well oh there's a bit of pee pee stains we have to change this bed later on but there's the two puppies there's Kenzie's little babies so this one is the little boy with the sort of mainly white head and then the other little one is the girl the one that's asleep and he's a little bit more sort of wriggly and active now this morning but I'd say he's just looking for Kenzie what's wrong with you? Well, yeah, just to give you a little look, this is the little girl. Oh, I'll pick you up and give you a little look. There, she's there. She's only opened her eyes. Oh, Kenzie. She's literally only opened her eyes this week. I'm after picking her up and she's not happy. And then this is the little boy. And you can see he's only one of his eyes open. The other one, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, he's peeing. Oh, Jesus. Kenzie, look after him, will you? Anyway, he pretty much just peed all over my hands. And now they're looking for a bit of grub. But yeah, we've had two pups. So yeah, that's the first sort of life update or first big thing that's been going on. And I know I always say it every video, I'm gonna try and make regular videos as much as I can. But since January kicked off, like my business has sort of kicked off in, well, it actually started getting busier in the second week or first or second week in December strangely enough and that's normally a time where sort of people would be say maybe tapering off <laughs> training and nutrition and stuff like that but I had so many people start in December that you know December got super busy January then ended up super busy and then now we're in March can you believe like we're literally a quarter of the year through 2020 I'm not kidding you, like this year has flown in already. But yeah, anyway, plan is to hit the gym. I have a leg session planned for today. Jason is just getting, he just texted me, I've just seen it on my Apple Watch. Jason's warming up on the Stairmaster, his absolute, it's, I think it's his third love beyond Sonia and his two kids. Jason loves his Stairmaster. But, yeah, gonna head over, get a leg session done, and I'll take you through a full day of eating today as well to show you guys how I'm eating. I'll show you my calorie breakdown, I'll show you my fitness pal, I'll show you my macro split, uh, starting off this photo shoot uh, prep, and 
yeah, I'll take you along for a little bit of a life update with Viv too later on. She'll sort of tell you the crack and what's been going on with her. She has gotten two promotions in the last, I think it's been nine months. Um, and she had a visit from HICWA, which is essentially their health inspectors for um, nursing homes, hospitals, all that sort of industry. And she was absolutely up the walls with stress for the last, I think, maybe four to eight weeks. So, yeah, so everything has been turned upside down or turned on its head, let's say, in terms of how much work we're both doing, in terms of what's been going on in our lives. Vivian's still completing her master's. She's in her second year. She's almost finished her thesis is due, I think, in the next three, possibly four weeks. I'll get an update for you guys today on where she's at with her master's, but I know it's due pretty soon. Um, and... What else have we got going on? Yeah, we plan a family holiday for next year. Um, but I'll wait till I see Vivian later on and we'll tell you a little bit more about that. And it's going to be January 5th next year and it's this 50. I think we're going away for 16 days, which is pretty cool. But apart from that, that's all my crack thus far. 2020 has kicked off. Our lives have been turned on its head. <laughs> but yeah, listen, look, enough waffling. Time to get to the gym. What did I tell you guys? <laughs> I was telling them on the YouTube video that I was like, this is like your third love beyond Sonia and the kids. Third. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, lad. So, starting off on our regular warm up leg extensions, we've got adductors and abductors. So, what we did was 15 to 20 here, 15 to 20 here, and then eight to 12 heavy on the extensions to start off. We are moving on to our second block of exercises, which is our heavy leg press, and we're gonna do this prone leg curl, which is right here. Now, I normally do strength uh, squats or heavy squats before I start my leg session. Um, I've been programming a lot of strength work over the last little while, but, this week is actually my deload week and on my deload weeks for the last couple of months I've been just doing a normal leg session instead of doing super heavy like squats and deadlifts and all that sort of stuff. So I take my technical deload week and I just do what I would normally do as a proper leg session. And on these two exercises I'm going 7 to 12 on each one and we're going as heavy as we can. Jim. Kenzie! <laughs> Look at this. Did you kick them out of the bed? Huh? <laughs> oh my god. They're supposed to be in there with you, Kenzie. They're supposed to be in there with you. Oh, no good to sleep. She must have just got sick of them and then threw them out. Or they just crawled out here. And decided to just chill. <laughs> the little size of them. Like, Kenzie is the entire size of that bed. When she lies down on it. Well, I wouldn't say the entire width, but she's definitely... I'd say the entire length. But look how small they are in the bed. Look how small they are beside my shoe. Like, that's a size 11. And they're so tiny. Look at those little paws. Look at those little paws. They're so small. Unbelievable. What's up, Jason? Just finished off on barbell lunges and seated leg curls. The gym just got a little bit busy this morning, so I couldn't sort of film the rest of it because um, so many people were in the background of the video. Anyway, I have to get this on a treat, otherwise, she won't go outside. She won't leave the puppies. But yeah, just had a post-workout whey protein shake i actually just got one in the in my gym there's like a little sort of coffee dock just before you leave and it has like smoothies and juices and protein shakes and stuff like that so i just got two scoops of whey made with ice and water um and then i went back in and went into the sauna for a little bit i've actually been going to the sauna after a lot of my sessions recently and i feel like it helps 
enhance recovery. I don't know why, but I feel a lot less stiff and sore and my DOMS aren't as bad when I go into the sauna versus when I don't. I don't know if that's just placebo or it's just in my head, but comment below if you're like that, if you use any sort of like sauna therapy or if you go and do ice baths or anything like that, comment below and let me know what sort of recovery strategies you use for after your workout. Anyway, time to get a little bit of grub. The, when I had that shake, it was about maybe about an hour and a half ago, and I'm actually kind of hungry now, so um, yeah, time to get some grub. Okay, so the first proper meal of the day going down, I'm going to make a small egg white omelette. Alright Harley. I'm going to make some Slimbo Toasties, and then I'm going to have turkey burgers, so I'm going to have basically like a sort of uh, burger and egg healthy McMuffin, essentially. So. Here's my new pan, my new omelette pan with a big lid, which I'm absolutely delighted with. So, actually, heads up on this one. With my scales, I normally put the bottle on, obviously put it to zero, and then I measure out 250 mils, right? So I sort of guesstimate into the pan, and then I'll put it back on, and then it'll show me minus 189, so that shows, so I'll put it onto mils. So 189 mils, pour a little bit more into the pan. There's 253 mils. All right, so essentially it's half the bottle. And then on the side it gives you per 100 mils, or 100 grams, it's only 50 calories, 10 grams of protein. So I've got 25 grams of protein from this. I'm gonna have two turkey burgers, which is another 40 grams. And I'm gonna have my little bit of carbs. I'm gonna have some 50% less sugar and salt ketchup on that bad boy. Meal one. I'm just sitting outside the gym. I had to just pop into town just to do something really quickly before my next client at 3 p.m. and it's now 10 to 3. And I just stopped into Starbucks to get a bit of a cold brew on the way home. And do you know what? One thing that bugs the shit out of me about Starbucks, I don't know about you guys, comment below if you're if this wrecks your head, right? These paper straws. Oh my god, and I do you know what the worst of it is, right? They give you a paper straw, but give it to you in a plastic container, right? Like, and they're saying, like, oh yeah, we're trying to save the environment and all that. Well, then I would rather a plastic straw and a paper cup. Starbucks, listen up. Oh my god, paper straws. And you know what the worst of it is? Like, when it gets to this stage, if you can see in there, like, it's all bent and shit because obviously I've been drinking it, and the water has just softened the shit out of the straw, and like, you're getting bits of paper in your mouth, and it's just rotten. Starbucks, paper cups, plastic straws. That's what I think. Yo, back in the house, and it is an absolutely mental day because. Myself, actually Vivian's picking me up in about 20 minutes, so I'm trying to get something quick before we have to go and see something exciting and I'll tell you guys in, well, I'll tell you guys when Vivian picks me up what we're doing and where we're going. Um, but we're doing a sort of quick meeting and then I have to be back in the gym for clients at five, so I've like 20 minutes to get some grub into me because I am absolutely hanging. So this is what I'm going to do. I have one full box of this Sunburst stir fry, I have half a bag of this coleslaw cabbage mix and then I have a half a bag of this vegetable kit, fajita kit, um, it's literally just peppers, cut of peppers and onions, this one was sort of like just white and I think it was white cabbage and carrot and then this one's sort of like an Asian sort of stir fry veg and then I've got my two turkey burgers from, that's left from the ones that I cooked last night, all the veg is cooking in the pan. This actually looks like it is a hell of a lot of veg, but when it sort of cooks down and sweats down, it's not all that much. But I have these. These are actually pretty handy. You get these in Aldi. This one is obviously your sweet and sour sauce, but half the pack, as you can see, is only 68 calories. So, job done. I'm gonna chuck that whole pack in to the vegetables, and then I'm gonna have my two turkey burgers with that too. So it's about, Maybe 45 grams of protein from the two turkey burgers, and then my 
veggies or my stir fry mix. That's gonna be my next meal. Yo! Yeah, well, why are you look disgusting? You're not going to bring that in the house, are you? No, I, this is basically... I'm doing a bit of a life update video because we haven't really done a, any sort of YouTubing in a little while, but mm. I was basically saying in the video this morning that <clears throat> that you've gotten like two promotions in the last like seven months. You've... <laughs> not the last seven months. Well, like nine months, isn't it? Uh, it's less than a year anyway. I don't know, I'm losing track of... I'm losing everything. track of days and times, but anyway. Tell the vlog about you, what's going on? I look so gross. If I look at that girl, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Listen, get, cut a girl on the break, she's just finished work a hard ass week. Oh, so tired. But yeah, you're nearly finished your masters. I, I don't, I, oh, that's sunny. Like, oh, less than two weeks left. Less than two weeks left. I thought it was like three or four weeks left. Well, I had my final thesis on this, my final draft of my thesis on the 17th. Of and, March, on Patrick's Day. Yeah. No way. And then I, um, then I don't, then he'll send me back like maybe a few corrections if there is any. Right. And then I submit like the final thing in May. Happy out. But it, it'll be done like in March. Basically. It'll be done in March, okay. So, March essentially. But, where are we going now? <sighs> to go look at a house. So that is our big news. We're on the market for a house at the minute. And we're on the market for a house. Yeah. We're searching the market. We're for searching it. the market for a house. Greg is like we're on the market. We are on the market. But it is hella fucking stressful, isn't it? God, I think we've nearly killed each other about five times. We have. If they say moving in with each other is one of the biggest tests, or moving house is one of the biggest tests of a relationship, I would say buying a house is probably one of the next biggest. Yeah stresses in a relationship holy god and trying to sort of find something that each one you're sort of looking for something specific yourself yeah and trying to sort of accommodate for uh the other person and comp not compensate what's the word compromising compromising that's good <laughs> compromising i'm what, surprised i know that word after like how tired i am i know compromising what I know, to be fair, like, we have agreed on stuff, but, yeah. like, there's stuff that, like... There's stuff that Vivian... Well, we got offered a house, it's not as if... We, oh, yeah, we did get offered a house. I'll sh we'll show you the house that we got offered last week. It's It was potentially the ideal house, but it was in a really crappy location. Um, and I'm devastated because it was my favourite. And it was Vivian's favourite. Like, now, look, I'm... It's in here. I'm, uh... I'm not as devastated now because I'm also, uh, just go straight on to the bottom. Uh, I've been talking to sort of like my uncles and family members and stuff like that and they're saying that the house that we got offered was like overpriced for the uh, size of the house and stuff like that. So um, uh, all the way down to the bottom. Um, yeah, but by the time we actually get our house, they could go down. Yeah, yeah so no. fingers crossed. We actually, fi look, actually we'll show you this, right? Oh no, is it here? We actually bid on, we, we had a, a deposit on one of these houses here. See those red brick ones? No, it's back. Oh, is it back, is it? Well, it's, it was a detached so version. How do I get to this house? I actually don't know. It was a detached version of one of those houses. Please ring your mask. Go around that way, go around that way. But that's the site over there, so I presume you go around the back here, go this way. Um, it was a, a detached version of one of those red brick houses, but it was sort of, it just wasn't for us. Try this way. Um, but yeah, that's our exciting news. Keep pushing on, keep going, Vic. Keep going, keep going. But uh, yeah, we're looking for our house. So exciting times ahead. Hang on right here. Yeah, I presume this is where it is. Anyway, more to come. Yeah, I feel you. Well, what do you think of that one? Um. Like, there's good points and there's bad points. Right, well, we were looking at, I'll show you this one, right? So we were looking at that one there. Well, either... It's way nicer from the front. That is a three-story house. Um, yeah, it's it's very hard to, because we went in and the house was, like, just in its sort of raw state. There was no... It's a lot smaller than you think it's going to be. That's all. Like, as in, the kitchen yeah, it looks, and it looks the huge from the small. Other. But then again... See, when we first walked into that, we, we also got shown a four-bedroom detached house that we actually had previously been in 
as uh, and it was like uh, right here left uh, as a sort of site and it was it, it seemed really small yet when we seen it there and it was done up as a show house it, it looked, looked it looked really really big and it was like you know nicely furnished and all sorts the only thing I would say is that the storage doesn't look great in the four bedroom I don't know obviously with the five bedroom yeah, but like, like mean, the rooms had no wardrobes in it yeah, at all yeah, like so sure. that's the only thing I worried so about so this is I think is this the house that we put money on before no it's not ours is well it looked like that one that one's that ours is down, down there it's down oh, is the it? one that we did yes yeah, but it looked like that it was sort of the end ah it was yeah it was the end that red brick one down the end yeah. but um but yeah the search continues uh, what do you think of it? Um, it's extremely hard to, to tell, tell but because it, there's yeah. no furniture in it. It literally was just like raw building site, wires hanging out of the wall. Like, you know, it's it, it's just so hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. The only... I actually was more surprised that, that I was kind of disappointed. Do you know what I mean? You're more surprised than disappointed. Like, I was like, like, oh, it's actually not as bad. Like, it's the sun was shining. It was like, yeah, wasn't like, it? it wasn't the rooms were like nice size. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't as bad as you thought, essentially. Vivian mm. was giving me a heap of shit yesterday saying that. Oh, you were giving me a heap of shit because I was saying it doesn't look homely. And he was like, ah, ah. Yeah, no, I was saying, like, what does that mean? Right? Like, when somebody says. Yeah, but you see a house, like, oh, that looks like a home. You know? Yeah, but n no one ever says that rolling up to anyone's house, ever. Well, I don't want rolling up to anyone's house her house is rotten. I don't think anyone's ever going to say that because you're going to make the inside look really, really nice. Also, we'll show yeah, you the house. Yeah, house, you're going to go like, oh, that's your house. Anyway, we'll show you the house that we got offered. We're on the main road right now, and that there end house is the one that we were offered. So, super close to a main road and super close to a pub that has the potential to reopen. So that was a no go for us. Mm. Super close to main road. So if you ever wanted, like, if you had, if you had kids in the future, you're super close to a really busy road. Um, the noise actually when you're standing on that road at sort of like peak time, let's say 6 p.m. in the evening, is just insane, isn't it? Even your mom was like, "Whoa!" Like when we were saying the price of it. And all. Yeah, even, his face. He was like, "Yeah, he was like crazy." So even the builder was like, "Well, it's a bit." expensive for the size of the house even plus there's also houses been built in here which is called Belfield and I, I don't know if you can see sort of there so we might potentially look in there too mm. so yeah quest for a house we need to on. find we need to contact those people and see yeah if, what's the story with those houses you know what I mean definitely but yeah search for a house mm. continues man yeah but yeah, Fave is going to go and do a wee bit of training. I'm going to go in and work with my last client of the day. And what are we doing for the evening? We're just going to chill. I'm so tired. Fave's right. Anyway, catch up with you guys in a bit. I'd say if you're watching this video, it makes you feel really sick, does it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've just been talking about the house that we went to see. Also, we were just talking about being food focused. Because I think I just said I'm so sick of having to think about what I eat. But and I, think, I, thought, I thought I had a day where I was like eating everything and not have guilt or like not have to think about it. But I also think that's what I was saying was that I think it's because me and Viv have come from being overweight and having to get to oh, it is, back yeah. to a sort of healthier size. You've had to concentrate and really focus on not eating all the really shitty foods that you want. Yeah, but like I, yeah, because like before I gained a lot of weight. I never worry about what I ate, and then obviously then when I was trying to lose, I had to constantly think about what I was eating. So yeah, you have to change your mindset. You have to change your mindset, but I think I, I don't. There has to be a healthy medium somewhere. Yeah, but like sometimes I just want to sit at home and just eat shit. Like so do I. But especially like now, but I always I'm think, having a month and I don't feel well, so I'm just like oh. So Vivian's on on one of those days. I just want to eat chocolate and crap and. Just trying to restrain but myself. just think about tomorrow my auntie my auntie makes now i'm sure everybody's auntie makes it but my auntie makes the best it is the best chocolate biscuit cake it is actually the best because i don't actually like chocolate biscuit cake but i like your aunties i like that is i awesome. find chocolate biscuit cake so heavy and like it but like your aunties is own so this is the next meal barbecue chicken pizza this is 604 calories for the whole pizza and i'm just putting an extra packet of chicken onto the pizza. Have you calories left? <laughs> also, I forgot to uh, show you guys earlier um, 
what my calories and where my sort of macronutrient breakdown is at the minute. So this is what I'm doing for the next month. I'm doing five days at 2,350 calories. And then I'm going to do two days at 2,800 calories. So they're going to be my weekend days. So I'm going to do 2,800 calories on the weekends. So Saturday, Sunday. And then 2,350 um, during the week. Five days a week. And essentially what I'm going to do is just alter this or change this according to my own check-ins. So I'm just going to check in. Make sure that my weight's going in the right direction. Make sure my physique looks like it's going in the right direction. Make sure I'm... Getting a little bit leaner week by week, getting fitter, getting a little bit lighter and essentially uh, getting back to the sort of photo shoot shape. But that's where my calories are at at the minute. So today is Friday, so they're my Friday calories. This is the real, the real deal. I don't hide this shit, I'm all open around this. We don't hide this shit. Say no Instagram versus reality shit. This is just reality all the time, 24-7. Oh man! The real life of Vivian and I. This is it. This is pretty much what we do. I think we've watched pretty much every movie that's ever been made. Probably. <laughs> We're big movie heads. We're sitting here watching cock blockers. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. I was called. I was say I was. No, it's called cock suckers. <laughs> cock suckers. No, cock blockers is on Netflix. But anyway, we've given everybody a bit of an update of what's going on with us. Have we? Yeah. We didn't tell them that we booked a holiday for next year though. We have a holiday was for this year. Well, but the big holiday. Yeah. We didn't tell you that. We're going to the islands. We're going to the island. It's Jamaica, you might think. Oh, well, whatever. We're going to Hawaii for... How long? Two weeks. Two weeks. A load of Vivian's fam. Island hopping. Island hopping. So we're going to do... We're doing a cruise for 15 days with a heap of Vivian's family. Is there like... Well, how many is going? About 20? 21. 21 people going, including us, so there's 19 of Vivian's family going. It's gonna be some bands. <laughs> Aren't they? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna be good fun. It's gonna be good crack. I really want to do shark diving with Viv. It's a no go. You can go ahead. Can I? I don't die. You know what? You won't die. Anyway. Okay, if I did that, I'd probably pay with and see. Because I'd shit myself. Oh, sorry. But we're just gonna sit here, chill, watch a movie, eat some Halo Top, and get an early night. Anyway, I'm gonna sign out from this vlog. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.